Guys, it's Doug here with another Trigger King Tech, and today we are going to talk about the difference between toy grade and hobby grade as it pertains to RCs. Now, I know that some of you out here uh, know the answer to this and find it quite simple, but there are many out there that are confused by this because there's, there's a divide, a definite divide between toy grade and hobby grade. So toy grade is basically anything that you can get at a toy store, hence the name. They are much simpler in construction. You can see I've got a Newbride up here, which Newbride is one of the big companies that offers radio control monster trucks and has for a while here now. Uh, but these are simpler in construction. They're cheaper, yes. I know sometimes the price can be, you know, uh, what someone deem expensive, over 100 bucks. Uh, but in general, they're under $100, and most toy grade uh, trucks are sort of disposable, right? You can't really work on them, but they're simple. They have a battery charger, they have a remote. The operation is simple, they're just not very complicated, and they get the job done, right? They're, they're toys, they're for people who just wanna mess around. By contrast, hobby grade, like the Arma Granite that you will see right here, or any of the trucks we feature on this channel, uh, if you're wondering where we get these things, is they're all hobby shop. That's why they're called hobby grade, you can find them at a hobby shop. And what that means is that the construction is, it's, it's just a lot more advanced, right? To where it's not designed to be thrown away. If you break something, you can buy a new part for it. If uh, you wanna upgrade something, there's a full aftermarket out there where you can upgrade. The vehicles are much faster, they do a lot more. Um, normally hobby grade vehicles are extremely slow and you can't really do anything with them outside of maybe popping wheelies or I don't know, run through the water slow. It depends what they're kind of designed for. A hobby grade truck, uh, you know, right out of the box, like this Armor Granite, you can just fly over things with that. Right out of the box for 300 bucks. And in general, hobby grade stuff's just a lot faster. You can jump, you can do a lot more stuff with it. It's just a totally different thing. Now, I'm not knocking toy grade RCs. They're very important. That's how many of us get our start in the hobby. Many folks, kids, whoever. I know I started with uh, toy grade Nikos way back in the day, Nikos and Tycos in the early 90s. My first actual uh, you know, toy grade truck that I remember was a Nico Black Thunder. And then I moved up into a hobby grade Traxxas Hawk 2. Yes, again, early 90s. But those toy grades are very important. And I know even now I was at a monster truck show recently uh, it was one of the Hot Wheels Monster Truck live shows where New Wright was a sponsor and they were really hyping up the New Wright trucks and that's great because the kids are going to get to go play with them, they're simple to mess with. Hopefully that becomes the gateway to them for the hobby grade stuff later, get into your hobby shop and when you find that whole new world. I remember my mind was blown whenever I found out about the world of hobby grade trucks. So they both have their place in this ecosystem but that is the difference. If you see somebody say, you know, this is a toy grade truck. That means it's designed to be disposable and not really worked on. It's supposed to be simpler. If it's hobby grade, that means you can work on it. You can change things. You can fix things, modify things, and generally have a lot more fun and have a lot more performance with it. You can grow into a hobby grade vehicle. A toy grade is sort of what it is. So hopefully that clarifies it for you. Thank you guys. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them below here in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. And uh, we will see you guys soon for another edition of Trigger King Tech.